Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review and today we're going to take a look at Strip Weathers aka The King the legendary Dynaco Piston Cup Racer number 43 <clears throat> so before we get right into the review let me discuss something so the Strip The King Weathers was a is a 1970 Plymouth Superbird who raced in the Piston Cup for Team Dynaco and bore the number 43 and won and began his racing career in the early 70s 1970 I suggest up and, and had won seven Piston Cups in his career up until 35 years later in 2005. And he was also inspired and voiced by NASCAR legend Richard Petty, of which he drove in the King's model, the actual 1970 Plymouth Superbird. So the reason why I picked him and picked this car is because today is April 3rd and April is the fourth month of a year and the third is the third day of April. So it kind of matches Richard Petty's racing number, or 43. Anyhow, during his appearance in the first Cars movie, the King was one of the racers that attended the Dynaco 400 at the Motor Speedway of the South of the 2005 Piston Cup season and was up against a lot of racers, even his toughest competitors, Chick, the constant runner-up Chick Hicks, who had been chasing his tailfin for his entire career, and rookie sensation Lightning McQueen. He was on the verge of retiring when, of course, at the final lap, when, which meant to be his farewell lap, which he, he, was, he was then tied along with Chick and Lightning. And, and, after, the, and after the race, his wife, Mrs. Linda the King Weathers, and his sponsor's owner, Tex Dynaco, had congratulated him on his partial victory. He then, uh, and in the winner's circle, he, he offered Lightning some advice on of having a crew chief and a good team. And... He then, they then drove up to the other side of the winner's circle, along with Chick, and that, they, that a three-way tie was declared, and a tiebreaker race at the Los Angeles International Speedway was to be held in one week. And before, and before the, and before the tiebreaker race, his fellow competitor, Dale Earnhardt Jr., wished him luck on his farewell race, and he had been an inspiration to him, and Linda yeah. warned him to be careful out on the track. And during the race, he started first, with Chick second, with Lightning in last, when it started without him. And throughout the whole, the, the whole race, the King, the King led most of laps. And at the, the final lap, when Lightning was in first, the King was in second, with Chick in, in third, who was fed up with coming in behind him, and he, and then he 
tapped the king off of the track, causing him to barrel crash right into the infield. And then the which and you know, and the crowd w gasped and lightning dis saw the king's crash on screen and decided to forfeit the piston cup um, to Chick Hicks and to to help him push across the finish line and to end his racing career. And during the epilogue of cars, he, along with Linda Weathers and Dale Earnhardt Jr., were the ones to attend the, the grand opening ceremony of the Doc Hudson Museum, sorry for the shaky bit, which was announced open by Mater and stated that the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet was his inspiration. In the following year, in 2006, after his retirement, he returned to the Piston Cup, but as crew chief of his nephew Cal Weathers, up until a decade later in 2016, after the bumper saved Gears and Glory 450 at Heartland Motor Speedway. Wait, and and although and although he wasn't seen in the car, although he was select, although he can be selected as a playable character in the Cars video game, he was briefly mentioned by Daryl Car Trip. And in, in Cars 3, it shows that the king was a crew chief of his nephew Cal for the Dynaco team. Although I'm going to suggest that the king became a crew chief of Cal well, in 2006, a, a year, the following year after his retirement. So up, in, up until a decade later, in 2016, after the bumper saved Gears and Glory 450 at Heartland Motor Speedway, Cal Weathers decided to retire when the next gen racers started dominating the Piston Cup circuit. And the following year, in 2017, at Florida International Speedway, he was then seen with Cal and Tex, Tex when Tex offered Cruz Ramirez the Dynaco team. And during his diecast releases, the King has been released countless times in singles, two packs, and multi packs. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. You have got his happy facial expression his number 43 on his pop-up headlights and his light blue paint which is known as the Dynaco Blue and on the hood we've got the Dynaco logo which was seen as an easter egg in Pixar's very first film Toy Story but with a different but with an early design and on the left side we've got the chrome silver gray rims on his Blackwall Lightyear tires and the number 43 and the Dynaco logo and the gas cap and a few contingency sponsors saying Vitaline, Moon Springs, No Stall, Piston Cup, Little Torquey Pistons, Gas Spring, Reach Ready, Easy Idle. And we've got the, and on the top we've got the number 43 and on the trunk another number 43. We've got the, a, his huge spoiler. And on the back we've got the chrome gray bumper and the Dynaco logo and a number 43 on his tail lights. Oh, and I forgot to mention that we have the exhaust pipe, which is on the left side. And underneath, it says, Made in Vietnam. So, this version of the King is from the Piston Cup Race 11 pack, which I unboxed in one of my previous videos. And it says, 
1970 Plymouth Superbird, which is copyrighted. And that implying that the Keenan is a muscle car. So that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other muscle cars. We've got Louis, another 1970 Plymouth Superbird, who one of my cars OCs. Firebird, who is one of my another one of my cars OCs, who is a 1982 Pontiac Firebird. Mario Andretti, who is a Andretti. Frank Mustangberger. And the Dodge Challengers, Steiner, Snot Run, and Rod Tor Gredline. And some of the other Dynaco team members. We've got Dynaco Lightning McQueen. Dynaco Chick Hicks. Luke Pedalwork, Rotor Turbo Sky, Gray the Dynaco Hauler, Helena Fetcho, Tex Dynaco. Dynaco Cruiser Mirrors, and the other Weathers family members. We've got his wife, Linda the King Weathers, and his nephew, their nephew, Cal Weathers. And that is it. So, I would declare, since I'm reviewing the King, I would consider this day Richard Petty Day. So what do you guys think? Which muscle car is your favorite? And which Dynaco team member is your favorite also? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as suggestions. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also consider the support by checking out my other videos on my channel. And I'd like to thank my subscribers and my public watch hours and viewers for your continued support. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!